Hello students, welcome. So the next topic we are what we are going to discuss is tangential acceleration. So what is a tangent? See it is a straight line drawn for a circle touching a circle at one single point is called tangent. This is called tangent. From an, at any point it may be but the line is a straight line. It should touch the circle at one single point. This is called tangent. See as it is for the circle and the line is in like a straight line. So it has to relate the linear motion as well as the angular motion for the circle. So such kind of acceleration is what we are going to derive. Right. So I am going to take the relationship between the normal linear thing and the circular motion okay so the basic uh, relationship is what we have got from here s is equal to r into theta we have discussed in the angular displacement itself so from this let me go in for the differentiation value differentiation can be d or delta both are one and same so it is del s is equal to r into del theta now differentiate this with respect to t so it is del s by del t equal to that is I am going to divide on both sides by del t which is del s by del t equal to r into del theta by del t. As I said delta and ds d are same so I am going to write this one as ds by dt equal to r into d theta by dt. So what is this d theta, d theta by dt that is rate of change of displacement isn't, isn't it angular displacement is theta angular displacement by time it is called angular velocity so angular velocity is omega this can be given as ds by dt equal to r into omega this ds by dt is normal displacement by time which is velocity so velocity is equal to r into angular velocity omega so now we have got the relationship between velocity what we have to get is acceleration so from velocity when you differentiate with respect to time you get acceleration isn't it so i'm going for velocity differentiate with respect to time so it is dv by dt is equal to r ss because it is radius r into d omega by dt what is this d omega by dt it is angular acceleration alpha and what is this dv by dt it is linear acceleration a so a is equal to angular acceleration alpha into r this relationship is what is called as tangential acceleration so the acceleration now what we got is tangential acceleration i hope you've understood thank you